to each and everybody yes good morning good afternoon good evening whatever the case may be i do hope that each and everybody are staying safe or staying healthy and most importantly are enjoying your life you know let's enjoy each and every day every day is a blessing as they all say and i do believe that and let's you know stop and smell the roses appreciate the little things in life and yeah let's spread love let's spread kindness let's spread good vibes okay let's say no to heat no to war and no to negativity because you know what what does it do to all of us anyway right there's nothing good that's gonna come out of it and let's just steer away from all of those and yeah let's try to be extra nice towards the people around us really let's try to be a better version of ourselves each and every day and who knows guys we might just achieve real peace yeah yes okay so speaking of like being nice and all that let's find out okay what it's like to be in the coldest village on earth okay this is requested by one of you guys you know who you are thank you for dropping by and for the request here it is uh, this is one day in the coldest village on earth negative 71 degrees celsius at yakucha siberia uploaded by kion b i do hope um they don't mind us reacting to this guys i urge you as well to please do watch this video on the original uploader's account which i will be linking everything on the description box below the link of this video as well as the link of the uploader's youtube account so guys please go ahead and show him some love in as well yes okay are you excited for this i am extremely excited for this especially for those guys who doesn't know i live in a very tropical country okay where there's only two seasons there's sunny and there's rain that's it but most of the time it, there's always going to be sun okay i i although i've gone to like you know countries where i've experienced snow yes but then of course i have not lived that life and i really have not really experienced this tremendous like amount of cold or wet weather that's like what 95 degrees fahrenheit that's like insane man but i'll find out how is it like to be living in such conditions and i i was like wondering i i remember now that um uh, during one of my um reactions to 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 this type of videos i was like saying that what it's like to really to be to be living in a in a situation where it's really really cold and how do one get by each and every day so this is like you know uh, a request granted it's by moi but so yeah guys let's go ahead and check this one out one two three let us play this let's go wow okay 7 a.m kirill petrov the man of the house the first thing that he does every morning is to heat the house with a wood-burning stove to keep his family warm on the ice-cold morning in Yakutia. Yakutia. Because of the severe climate, Kirill needs wow, a lot of wood to heat the house for nine months non-stop. Nine months? Wow. Just like a dessert, drinking water in Yakutia village is precious. There are no water treatment facilities because the pipes freeze during the long winter. Ooh, so ice really is the freeze. main source of water. Kirill and the villagers harvested the ice from the river in the middle of November when the temperature was favorable to harvest the ice. No idea that this is such the case. Meanwhile, Kirill's wife Lyubov is making delicious and traditional breakfast, kyrtsakh, whipped cream with a strawberry jam which was harvested during the summer. Wow, in Yakutia, like during indoors. the harsh climate, uh, if, uh, it's like... almost impossible to grow fruits and vegetables, so most of the Yakut desserts consist of dairy food. Everything's organic. It's 7.40 a.m. and it's time for Ariane, the youngest son, to wake up. Arian is nine years old and attends the local primary school. The children in Yakutia will go to school when it's warmer than minus 54 degrees. But when the temperature drops below minus 55 degrees, it's too dangerous to go to school. 
Today is relatively warm in Yakutia, only minus 40 degrees, which means Aryan must go to school. Like most people around the world, he washed his face and brushed his teeth. Aryan uses the ice-cold water that his dad prepared earlier. <laughs> I feel cold already just by watching this, oh my gosh. Breakfast. Fatty pancakes and whipped cream are high-energy food that warms you up during cold winters. Aryan's older sisters are living and studying in university far away from the village. His parents wish for him to study well so he can live his life as he wants. In Yakutia, locals understand the importance of learning the right clothing to survive in such extreme yeah. winters. It's an absolute must to wear several layers of clothing and wear insulated pants because the knees are particularly prone to freezing. Aryan's mom always makes sure that Aryan wears enough clothes, because without proper dressing, the cold will reach deep inside your bones, threatening your life. She also makes sure that his face is fully covered, otherwise the exposed part can get frostbite. Okay. The temperature outside is so cold, so the moisture immediately forms little icicles on his eyelashes. Ten minutes in the fresh air can be enough to cause fatigue, stinging pain in the face and long-lasting aches in the fingers and toes. Wow. But little Hardy Yakuts knows how to fight the cold. But after a few minutes, the icy weather begins to assert itself forcefully. Aryan has been on his way for 10 minutes already, and now the 9 years old Aryan is freezing. Good thing, good thing he's in the school now. Luckily, the last few meters are left and Aryan is finally at school. Aryan arrives in time, and there are already many children who have also arrived by food. Aryan is studying in the third grade of primary school. The primary school lasts four years, and in Yakutia, education lasts 11 years before going to university. <laughs> There are about 8 students in the class today, and 5 hours of daily studying begins. Today they have math, literature, art, geography, history and languages. Yakut people study 3 languages at school, Russian, English and Saha. Saha is the mother tongue which belongs to the Turkic group and is totally different from the Russian language. For daily life, 
studying and working, knowing the Russian language is essential. After the first two lessons, it's time for a second breakfast. Mm -hmm. Today menu is apple and eggs. Eating regularly is essential to increase energy in the cold winters for little Yakut. After breakfast, the play indoors. The temperature is too cold to play outside, and after all, it takes too long to dress up again. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Usually the classes end at 2 p.m., but today Arian finished a little earlier. Now he is on his way back home with his friend, and like kids all around the world, they can't ignore the local snack shop. <laughs> Everyone and I love likes that ice cream, like and dogs. Aryan and his friends are no exception. Really, really ice cream. They I'm love sweet better. and creamy frozen ice cream, despite the extreme cold. Oh my God! There's literally. Aryan and so his adorable. friends on their way home are playing little games and having fun. Parents are not worried about their children. It's a close-knit community. All the locals know each other, and there are about 800 people in the whole village. Almost all the houses are made of wood. Each resident burns more than 60 cubic meters on average every winter. That's each resident. For the house to keep warm and to protect the house from the freezing air, they make sure to fill every gap with oakum or snow, but still, the cold finds a way to come through. Wild Yakutian horses are also neighbors in this icy Aww. land. They have thick skin and heavy hair coat and are able to effectively forage in the snow for vegetation to eat. The Yakutian horses can cope with temperatures down to minus 70 degrees. Aww, even their horses are cute. No, no, I want to... Oh, okay, I was like, no, this can't be the end, because, you know, I want to I wanna, I wanna see more. Aryan is back home and ready to help his father. Most men in the village are engaged in the cattle breeding, hunting or crafts, same as Aryan's father. I was born in the village of 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 the village Kirill Petrov is well known craftsman in Yakutia. Kirill makes traditional Yakut knives. For many centuries, Knives have played an important role in the lives and the culture of Yakut people. Yakut knives are well known around the world mm. for their strength and beauty. Ooh. Ooh, that's sharp, man. Aryan's father is teaching him this traditional craft <laughs> that has been passed through the generations. The blade is traditionally forged from the locally sourced iron ore. The knife handle is made from birch wood, which is extremely strong. Yeah, starting young, man, starting young. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the play, come on.
Another of Arian's daily duties is to chop the firewood. Ooh. Arian knows from early age that daily work is necessary to survive in such extreme cold. Ooh, he's strong. Now it's time for lunch and Arian is always here to help his mom. They are preparing a Christian carp fish which his dad caught in the river. Ooh, wow, he's so good. People with love everything. eating fish and meat in a frozen, boiled or fried state. After the work is done, Aryan rushes to the toilet outside. In Yakutia, there are no indoor toilets because the pipes freeze easily. Ooh, Everything ooh, happens ooh. outside is done very efficiently and no one spends more time than necessary out in the cold. Aryan's favorite. It's so tasty and the most delicious fat and nutrition part is the fish roe eggs. Mm. Fishing and hunting are important sources of food in Yakutia. From early spring until the autumn cold, the Yakuts are eating fish. Arian loves fishing with his father. At the beginning of March, it's the perfect time for kuyur, which is traditional ice fishing. Using their rods and nets, they start fishing. Arian loves spending time with his father in nature. They are fishing, hunting and working hard to survive in this extremely cold, but beautiful land, Yakutia. After a few hours, finally, Aryan has caught the fish. Oh. 
You don't need to worry about bonking the fish because in just a few seconds it's shock frozen. Life in Yakutia can be difficult, unpleasant and dangerous. But we have learned how to live in harmony with mother nature and we appreciate the nature, treasures and gifts that surround us. We can always find a beauty even in this extremely cold climate. After all, there is no such thing as a bad weather, there is just weather and your attitude towards it. This is very well done. This is very well documented. And wow, once again, a shout out to Keon B. I truly do appreciate this so, so much. And I do a lot of, and I do for sure know that a lot of people um, does appreciate this, of course. And who wouldn't be, right? Oh my golly. Never in my wildest dream have I ever thought that this is how it is living in such conditions, okay? So yes, let me just go ahead and send my salute to all the people in this village really for for really having this um, type of lifestyle for sure um, is not easy and for you to be able to, to just take it as it is and you know, have a positive mindset and just be like happy and glad that we are all alive and like we are all well is is so very um motivating it's so very um heartwarming it's so very like eye-opening if i may say um wow this is just wow and you know and you know what this is such a great contrast to what um the children these days are doing in their respective homes who are i'm pretty sure who are glued on their tvs who are glued on their screen or like on their gadgets and stuff browsing the internet you know i'm um, talking to somebody on the internet really and not really helping out with their families with their mom with their dads or whoever you know just the not giving an ish you know just minding their own business to heck with all of you you know and for me um it's sad that we somewhat got into this um um situation that we are in and and it is so very nice to see such a contrast really and i just so am um, like it's 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 it kind of like awakens me in in some sort of way that hey yeah we should be doing all these stuff instead you know and not tolerate this kind of behavior towards the kids towards the youth and you know try to motivate them instead on how to really live life and how to make a living and how to provide for for the family and you know and be be, be well equipped in life in growing up and and not rely on I don't know. I don't know what's what's so reliant about the internet, but yes, um, it does have its pros. I know, but the cons, though, my gosh. But yeah, going back to 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 how these parents, how these um, people in 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 Yakucha, for them to be able to 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 instill towards their their youth as to you know how it is to live life how to be like hard working responsible and at the same time just have fun and uh, always have you know um the family as your main uh main goal to really have them secured and stuff and for for everybody to have a helping hand for everybody to always have each other's backs no matter how little or how old you may be to, you know to to really do um coexist coexist and do things that um that you can really it's not really about like um child labor or like anything like that i don't see it as that it's more of like teaching them early how to really navigate through life and how to make it on their own when this when 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 a time comes that there's nobody that they can rely on but themselves and yes, this is so very great and for have this type of message to be sending towards its viewers is also very very wonderful and i do hope that there's a lot of people who kind of like you know like me who who's, was like awakened and i do am for for teaching these um um 
children early of, but of course i'm not talking about any abuse whatsoever okay for as long as they're capable of and we're not like over working them or over like um loading them with with tasks and stuff of course they need to have time to be kids and time to have fun but at the same time they also need to be reminded that they also have this type of responsibility and that and to have that at such a young age you know how else can you go wrong in life yeah oh my gosh this is so wonderful once again guys please do not forget to support kion b i will be linking her official account as well as the link of this video on the description box below it's just a click away please do support her like subscribe and share and of course guys if you have any more requests i urge you to please do because i enjoy videos like this thus far and yeah write it down on the comment section below if you have anything to say if you're from this village so much the better please do say something and I i'd love to hear from all of you guys this is magnificent i love it and yeah i hope you did enjoy this as much as i did guys you all take care all right spread love spread positivity until then spasiba <laughs>